Hi guys, this video is about why we should all be millionaires. So this morning I was listening to a podcast that really made me think about how the industry, the beauty, wellness, and spa industry, where we hold ourselves back. You know, it's a, a mindset that the millionaire should be like your goal, where actually I think it should be your floor. So in this video, I'm gonna walk through a few different strategies that I've personally used to create my generational wealth, being a salon owner and hairstylist, and all the ways that you can actually shift your mindset and the daily actions you're taking so you can create generational wealth for yourself and for your family. So don't forget to click the subscribe button, share this video, and make sure that you drop me a comment so I know what you're getting out of this video. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I am a 30 plus year salon owner, entrepreneur of multiple different brick and mortar beauty, wellness, and service-based businesses. But my basis is in the beauty industry. I have also am a business consultant for the last 16 years. So where I'm going with this is this. What is wealth? How are we building wealth? And what do we need to do daily to create a seven-figure millionaire business, right? Because let's think about it. I'm recording this in 2024, and a million dollars, I think, is the basis of what you should be really reaching for in this day and age. Because having simply a six-figure business, right, you know, it used to be like you make six figures as a hairstylist of a salon or you're doing really well. But the way the cost of living is and everything else, you're simply have a low, you know, a low caliber kind of job after you take out your business expenses, after you take out all the overhead. So I really want you to be honest with yourself and do the math. This is not a doom and gloom video. This is a realistic video. I've been in business in my salon for over 38 years. I've raised two children put them through the one through college. The second one is getting there, you know, able to buy a home abroad. There's a lot of things I go on vacation, you know, and the, the truth of the matter is these are all business and mindset strategies. So the first thing you want to do in being a millionaire is you want to shift the way you think. Guys, you have to let go of the bullshit abuse that you keep punishing yourself for of mistakes that you've made. So let's be honest. In business, I've made so many mistakes in my finances. I've made so many mistakes. I've had things go wrong. I've had screw ups. I've made bad decisions. And you know what? It has cost me financially and emotionally. But if I continue to beat myself up over those mistakes, I didn't I I didn't learn. So you are actually learning. Every mistake and every screw up is an opportunity to learn, right? Business owners, this is part of being an entrepreneur. This is part of being a solo stylist, a salon owner, spa owner, wellness owner. You learn from your mistakes. So number one in becoming a millionaire is drop the abuse and the self-beating up of yourself for the mistakes you've made. Because guys, it's simply a part of the learning and anyone who has created any kind of wealth, which wealth means having enough money, more than enough money, enjoying your life, not being chained to your business. There's a lot of meanings that wealth bring along with the millionaire status, right? So number two is know what a million dollar revenue looks like. Now, you can reach a million dollar revenue with a small boutique salon business, but you got to do the math, guys, right? The math is to generate. Now, this is not take home to generate in revenue. One million dollars a year you need to have coming in, right? This is not your profits. This is not your take home. This is what needs to come in in sales. $83,000. $333 a month. So I want you to take that number and realistically look at your business. Look at how many people are working on your team. Look at the revenue, your prices. I break this down and go further into this in my consulting that I do. And if you'd like to book a call with me, just head on over mariafontana.com. 
I have one hour jumpstart sessions. I have 10 minute get acquainted calls. You know, just, just get on the phone and talk to me and let's see what we can do with your business so you can friggin' blow shit up and be happy, profitable, and abundant, right? Um, I'm here to help you. Like, this is my industry. I've been in this industry top, top in 2024 in Salon today. You know, go check it out. Anyway, I'm getting off target here. So the point is, I want you to know your numbers, know what it looks like to generate a million dollars in sales, right? Now, again, you might not want to start with that as your goal. Maybe you just want to hit like that 500K mark, depending on where you are. I am speaking to my smaller boutique salons, right? So you don't have a big team, but you still can generate this type of revenue. You still can be that million dollar CEO. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. There's a million ways to do this. So know your math, know your realizations. And then I want you to really look at what are you doing with your money? Like, are you being focused on what that money's doing for you? Or are you just taking the money, spending the money? Are you not allotting the money the way it needs to be allotted? Again, I go deeper into this in the next following videos that I'm going to be posting. I'm going to deep dive into how you should be separating that money in your bank accounts to make sure you have a profit, to make sure that you actually have a paycheck, right? How many salon owners? I did this for years. I lived off my tips. I didn't keep track of shit. I had money like, like hundreds of dollars smooshed into my pocketbook. It's not a real business that way. It's a shit show. And we don't want to run a shit show. You want to run a sustainable, high-level business that you can be proud that you can go buy a home, that you can go do what you want, put your three kids through college, you can be proud of. So let's get our things in order to make sure your business is running correctly. And the third thing is, what do your operations look like? Like, what does your back end office look like? Like, do you have a booking system? Do you have SOPs, which are standard operating procedures? Meaning, do you have a system at least written down or recorded that when you bring someone else onto your team, when you onboard someone new, everyone knows what you expect, your values, how you run your operation. Now, again, I am not typical of many business consultants and coaches in the salon industry where I'm not a big fan of the typical corporate structure of running a salon. I do things with my own edginess and my own way. And it's the brilliant business system. And what I find is I actually create an SOP, a standard operating procedure based on what the goals are of my business. What do I want my team to feel like? Like, uh, you know, changing up scheduling, opening your mind to not being so rigid. And I'm talking, especially if you're a more mature stylist or salon owner that, you know, you've been doing shit the same way for like 30 years, you got to change or you're not going to survive. You got to change. You got to evolve with the times. And this is all part of being an entrepreneur, constantly changing, constantly growing. So guys, I want you to go down below this video. I want you to grab, I have a free checklist of, which is a little painful to read, but you need to read it, especially today. You know, why clients aren't coming into your salon, why team isn't coming to you and why you are not making the money you need to make. And I actually have some actionable tips that you can implement right away to get the bull rolling. Once again, I want you to subscribe, subscribe, hit the bell. So every week when I download a video, you can get access. Once again, feel free to book a call with me, mariafontana.com. I can't wait to see you in the next video.